Hello everybody, Jamie here with Tree Puncher Support, doing a tutorial today on using FTP. We're going to be looking at some very basic functionalities of FTP, uh, some advanced functionalities, and just talking about what FTP is. So basically, you might have seen that we offer full FTP access for all of our services, and that's completely true. And what FTP is, is sort of a hard drive that is your server. So this is where your worlds reside, this is where your plugins folder will reside, and as well, your full server jar. So if you want to edit that or put in a new snapshot, you'll be using FTP. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to log into your game panel because there are actually two ways that you can access the FTP. We have a very basic way that's built in in browser in our panel and then you can use your own FTP client which I'll get to in a little bit here. So basically here are the services you'll have. Uh, I have a lot of services because it's our testing account but uh, you'll probably have a vanilla or bucket server so I'm just going to click on this bucket server here and then you'll get to your server edit stage. Uh, here you've got all your different um, tabs where you can edit all the configurations for your server and the one you are looking for for FTP is file manager so this is the hard drive in the sky that we're talking about this is your server so uh, here we've got an essentials folder which is a plugin we also have got our plugins folder which we can see all of our plugins in here so here we go if we click on plugins you can see what plugins we're using so we're using essentials and adcraft and that's about it so if you want to upload a .jar file for a plugin you'll just hit upload a file upload the .jar if it is just a .jar for more information on installing plugins please go see our video uh, which is installing bucket plugins um, but uh, for single files, you can do upload and download here, and you can also delete single files. But there is a downfall to this file manager. One, it's in browser, so it's a little bit clunky. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to move around and everything in this file manager. But as well, you can only download, you know, upload and download single files, not folders. So you might want a little bit more power with your FTP server. And we completely give you that, uh, completely give you that, um, access so what you'll need is called an FTP client basically it is a program that runs on your computer that lets you access this hard drive in the sky FTP stands for file transfer P protocol so basically you're gonna be transferring files here at tree puncher we love to use FileZilla it's both for Mac and PC runs perfectly and it does everything we need to do you can also use things like cyberduck which is PC and Mac as well and some other ones as well you can choose what you want, but if you don't know what you want, just use this FileZilla one, and it's it's fantastic. So you'll want to go to FileZillaProject.org, there's a dash in between FileZilla and Project, and click Download FileZilla Client, not Server. You do not want to download Server. Your server already comes with FTP. You do not need to get the uh, FileZilla Server. You want to download FileZilla Client. So download that, go through the installation steps, and you'll find FileZilla right here. So this is what the program looks like. It's a little bit confusing to understand at first, but once you get it, you'll understand it absolutely. So basically, let me, get, let me just go through this for you. The top section is how you connect to the server. The middle section uh, underneath that is your console, which will start telling you what the server is doing once you've connected. And then you're sort of split up into two different uh, sections. The left side are two different ways to navigate your own computer. So these are files that I have on my actual computer right here. These are all my things. And then on this side, we're not connected to any server, but once we are, you'll see the things connected. So basically, you'll want to connect to your server. So if you go back to that file manager tab we were talking about, it says FTP details here. So that's how you want to connect to your FTP. The host is the IP there, where you go 66.228.54 dot nine seven the username is just your uh, username that you log in w into the game panel and the password is the same uh, as the game panel password and then the port will be 21 you'll hit quick connect and then it'll start connecting to it I've I say abort previous connection in current current tab yes absolutely it probably won't ask you that it's just because I had a connection up already before so now we look, I have three servers on three different ports on this server you more than likely will only have one 
in this view. But if you do have more than that, just click on the one that corresponds with your port. So you see my port is 25567. If we go to FileZilla, 25567. So here is my bucket server. And it's the exact same list as this. You can see it says Mac OS X, Crash Reports, Essentials. We got another Essentials, Lib. It's everything here. And then here's the server, craftbucket.jar. And here's the plugins that I was talking about. So here's Essentials and AdCraft and everything there. So let's say I want to upload uh, a world. So here I've got the walls PVP survival map. All I need to do is just drag this folder right into this section. You also can drag things from your uh, from your app from your actual uh, windows as well. So if I want to ch uh, bring this capture.png that a client sent me, I can just drag that into here as well, and then it'll start moving over. And you can see all the transfers right here, and. Uh, there you go. That is how you use uh, FTP. Once you're done that, you can just exit this, and the next time you connect, this little drop-down arrow, you can con uh, you can connect into your server just using this little drop-down arrow as well. So that's how you use FTP to sort of manage those files. If you want to change your jar file, this is what you can do. There's also a really nice little function in uh, in FileZilla where you can right-click and hit View slash Edit. It'll recognize the edits you do, and you could re-upload it to the server right there. Don't use that unless you're trying to edit actual plugin settings and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, so you can edit everything you can in your server here. What you can do even is you can delete everything in this FTP folder and put a new server in there if you want. You have complete full access to the FTP. I can't stress that how important that is once uh, once you know how to use it. So I hope this tutorial was a lot of help. Hopefully you guys can uh, figure it out and if you have any questions at all, any questions, I will not be answering it in the YouTube comments below, but I will be answering it at contact at support, uh, sorry, contact at treepuncher.com. Again, that email is contact at treepuncher.com, or you can log into your billing panel and hit support. So thank you all very much for watching, and uh, have a great day.